The Hajj is the pilgrimage to Mecca. It's incumbent upon Muslims, if they possibly can, to go on Hajj once in their lifetime. And it was set down in the Quran, and so Muslims have been doing it right from the beginning. This isn't just something about the past, it's about something that happens absolutely now. So what we tried to do was to create something that evokes both the past and the present at the same time. I was very struck by the work of Idris Khan, who's a British Muslim artist. He has created this work, which is called Seven Times, and it's a series of cubes. He intends for you to actually walk around it. And this work was created after his father, who was from Pakistan originally, went on Hajj a few years ago. And the experience was absolutely life-enhancing and transforming for, for Idris's father. And Idris was so struck by that that as an artist he started creating a whole series of works around Hajj. And this was, this was the first of them. The Hajj takes place in the last month of the Muslim year at a particular time. This is the month called Dhul Hijjah, and it's between the 8th and the 12th. Because of that, people had to be in Mecca at that particular time. So people would travel together in great convoys. And Evliya Chalabi, the Ottoman writer who went on Hajj in 1672, he, he talks about how it was literally like a city on the move. You know, thousands of people just, you know, setting off together. And sometimes these journeys there and back, they could take a couple of years. Now, of course, it's completely different. You know, you just jump on a plane and you go to Jeddah. So we wanted to really evoke what it meant to go on those journeys. And we see that in different ways. You'll see it through the, the diary of a, of, a, of a little girl from North London who, who, who went with her family a couple of years ago. Then right at the end of the exhibition, you'll hear it through the voices of uh, UK pilgrims. And this was very, very nice because this was actually thanks to the AHRC project that we were able to do that. We collaborated with a colleague from the University of Leeds, Sean McLaughlin. He went and interviewed people from different communities around the UK. So we hear their voices there. So that's going to be one of the real legacies, actually, of this exhibition, is the, the recording that we've done of these Hajj stories. The Kaaba is the cube-shaped structure which is at the centre of the, the sanctuary and is really the focus of Muslims' prayers, wherever they are in the world. I saw the work of Ahmed Mata, who was a Saudi artist. He had done this work, which was called Magnetism, and I thought, well, this would be absolutely perfect for, for the exhibition. It's a tiny little magnet, and around it are iron filings. The little iron filings look as though they're actually standing up. For me, that really encapsulated that idea of the fact that the Kaaba is, is a magnet for, for, for Muslims, wherever they are. The study of Hajj is actually very fragmented. So you have either people who are um, perhaps writing about the textiles, or you have the chronicles, people who study those, or sort of historical moments in, in time, for example, the Ottomans or the Mamluks or, or so on. So we thought that actually what would be really useful would be to bring all of this together. The funding from the HRC has enabled us to do a number of different things. It enabled us to, to employ more people to actually help on the research and also to do a major academic conference. We've got people literally coming from all over the world, marvellous scholars. It's truly multidisciplinary, three days, everything you ever wanted to know about Hajj. And then we'll publish the, the conference proceedings at the end. What's very, very interesting about this exhibition is that we are getting people coming who've never been into the British Museum before. You see non-Muslims standing next to Muslims, asking each other about what the Hajj is and what people's reactions are. There's a real interchange. Museums have a real role to play in explaining things. Islam, unfortunately, gets quite a bad press and people don't often go beyond that. This is an exhibition where we look at Islam, but through the prism of, of Hajj, which, which is so important to, to, to Muslims. And I do firmly be believe that really, in order to deepen one's understanding of Islam, you do actually have to really understand what, what the Hajj is. <laughs>